touch base on one of my videos uh, I had a question um, I think it was on YouTube I had a question about me shifting into fifth gear if I was able to shift into fifth gear good um, if I figured figured something out well most of it was just my my doing um, I was as you know when you you drive stick for a long time you you know you know you throw fifth gear you go all the ways over boom and then there's fifth gear, you know, and that's all mentality, you know. So what I, what I first when I was starting to drive this thing with the new transmission and this shifter, um, I was going all the ways over and going up. Well, you can't do that because this this shifter has no reverse lockout. So basically, you could go one through fourth and then fifth you gotta go at a diagonal fashion and not over and up because as you can see it blocks you and it's not blocking the 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 gear it's the fact that you're going past it and here's your reverse okay so there's no reverse lockout so i just kept on running into that you know that wall you know and it was it was just frustrating because you know you're learning a new new transmission with a new shifter this shifter is trash um if anyone has the collins or wants to get the collins kit do not get this shifter because it's pure trash i mean it works you know it goes in every gear and at fifth gear you have to throw it at an angle to get it in and it falls right in but the problem is you know you got to learn that and like I said, I didn't I didn't see any videos online saying, you know, that these these are a problem. Well, now here's your video. Um, so basically, like I said, you know, you need you need to have to put it in fifth. You have to basically diagonal. It. You know, you're in fourth, you're in fourth gear. Boom. Diagonal. That's how you get it in there. That's actually fifth. So if you take it out here, see that's that's the wall I'm talking about, and that's reverse. Okay, so fourth, boom, fifth. There you go. And then six, you just ride that that wall to sixth gear. It seems like the same <laughs> fifth is I mean sixth and reverse, but trust me, I've done it so many times on the highway that now I kind of get the whole point on how, how this is working. Um, the best way would be getting yourself a shifter with a reverse lockout because then the reverse lockout would block that, uh, opening to so that way it'll allow you to go over and then push it right in, you know? So that's the best alternative. Um, if you get one like this without reverse lockout, I'm almost positive you're going to miss fifth gear because of that. It's just not going to allow you to get it in the correct angle to get it in. I mean, unless you, you, you practice, then like I said, I've kept on practicing and trying to figure out how to do it quick enough. You know, like let's say a race situation or whatever, you know, you're in fourth gear and you want to throw fifth. You're not going to sit here and do this, you know, that's way too slow as a shift. So if you're on fourth gear, the fastest way to get it in, is just boom. It's like go diagonal like like that. There you go. Boom. It seems kind of harsh, but while you're racing or whatever, it's it's going to work. So I hope this helps um, a few of you or a lot of you. And, you know, if you got any questions, any more questions, um, just comment down below or let me know. And I'll maybe make a video to explain something better or a better situation. Um, 
this has worked okay for me. Uh, I I still think it's a shit shifter. Um, I think if I would do it all over again, I would not elect to get the shifter. I would just buy the transmission, the kit, and then I'll just buy the shifter elsewhere. You know, I'll, I'll spend you know two three hundred dollars on a on a different shifter so that way i'm that has reverse lockout but um that's it hope you enjoy this video well it's a short video but you know it'll it, it'll give you some relief or it'll help a few people actually that are looking to buy the collins kit you know that the collins chip the collins kit is actually pretty cheap for what it is, you know, you're getting a brand new. I mean, I bought the, I elected to buy the brand new transmission. Um, I bought the transmission, the whole kit, the shifter, pretty much, you know, bolt on kit, you know, and it wasn't that expensive. So, so yeah, um, yeah, I think that's it. Definitely the shifter is the problem. So just, don't worry about getting his shifter get something else guys so i figured i'd go a little bit more into detail um i was gonna end the video there but so here's the shifter at first glance it looks amazing you know i have this extra shifter um this shaft was bent when i got it in shipping so um he sent me another one which is awesome um and uh he just told me to keep it get rid of it whatever um so i just kept it because it looks i mean it's a nice paperweight you know it looks good um it doesn't look terrible you know but i figured you know i'll just keep it around um but uh yeah here's the shifter um basically it says version let me see here if i can read it version 1.2 i'm pretty sure they've re revised it from now but here's a check out that i mean you could see you know, daylight through that and you shouldn't be able to see daylight through that you know and this hole is actually manufactured way too big you know it should be a lot smaller so I don't know if it was just the issue with this shifter or a lot of them are, were made like that. Like right there, you could see daylight through it. Anyways, but um, as far as the shifter goes, you know, uh, that, that bushing there, that slid out on me already. Like, it's not even a joke. Like, I've, I was literally just driving around. I was at a stoplight. I went to shift into first, and thoop, it just slid out. So I, I was able to get it like in third gear or whatever, and I got it to you know limp to like to a stop, and I was able to push that back up and then drive it home. Um, and then luckily I had the other shifter that I replaced. The, the casting um yeah it was just a bad i don't know if it was just a bad casting or what but as far as uh as you can see all it, all this has is the max forward and back and then it has two uh springs here there's two springs here where you can see inside there that's where it gives you tension from basically side to side um to those two uh, you could adjust a little bit um these you could adjust obviously from front and back but as far as that i mean like i said that's bad design i mean driving driving around and not knowing if that sh that bushing is gonna drop out it's not very cool um also, like I said in this video, it doesn't have reverse lockout. So that fifth gear, you know, you have to basically get it, you know, at an angle to get it in, 
that if not you're gonna get blocked um, there's you know nothing else you can do with that I mean it's, but the shifter itself is a nice looking shifter you know it pushes the shifter forward a good, a good amount you know so it, it is a nice looking shifter but you know, just just because it's a nice looking shifter doesn't mean it's very functional. So, um, yeah. I mean, I already have it in my car, so I'm going to keep it there. Um, if I get any chance to get some money, I'll probably change it to something else, a better one. But, yeah. So, I figured I'd show you guys this uh, so that way you have a good you know good pictures and good video of it so that way you could see for yourself um i'm pretty sure they've changed a few things maybe they maybe they made this hole a little smaller i mean if they would make this hole quite a bit smaller that bushing won't even have any chance to slide out even if it did see some heat you know but, um, and these threads are American threads. They're not, uh, like an import type thread. So, so, you know, if you're going to get shift knobs for it, like this one, I got off of, uh, Amazon, I believe. And it, it comes with, uh, a little bush. No, it's not a bushing. It's like a adapter. I had it way up in there. Yeah, it comes with this adapter. But yeah, those threads are American threads. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's basically it. That's what I wanted to show you guys.